I created a device I call the Sailing Shroud to house an alternator powered by my patented floating water turbine. I wanted a portable generator capable of charging a 12 volt battery system. I wanted to place the sailing shroud into a stream and position it out into the strongest current without the use of an anchor fixed to the stream bed. I prefer not to get my feet wet. I wanted the sailing shroud to be fully functional in a water depth of 18 inches or greater with a flow velocity of 2 feet per second or greater. It should also be usable in 10 inches of water with a flow velocity of 2 feet per second or greater. These conditions can be found in most streams and rivers. The sailing shroud should displace a water weight of 85 to 95 percent. The sailing shroud consists of a half pipe with shielded brackets and bearings containing my Archimedean type rotor design. The half pipe provides a volute and channels the flow passing through the rotor. It rides in the water with the, the diameter of the cross section of the half pipe vertically positioned by means of flotation and ballast. A flat surface tangent to the midline of the half pipe forms a planing hull useful for lift to climb upstream. An adjustable wedge shields the alternator and provides vertical trim. A circular foil fixed to the half pipe provides rudder assistance and vertical stability. A tether line is attached to a roll bar positioned at a balance point and another tether line is attached to the bow. The bow line helps control heading and is useful for retrieval. A power line emerges from the center of the roll bar. A permanent magnet alternator is wired in three phase AC. The alternator is driven by a belt pulley one half inch smaller than the driver pulley. 30 feet of 12 gauge braided AWG wire ends at a rectifier. Facing downstream, the sailing shroud is set up for tethering on the left bank. A keel provides lift and ballast and must be repositioned for tethering on the opposite bank. An air bladder was planned but foam is used for flotation and also must be repositioned for use on the opposing bank. October 23, 2011. This is the Sailing Shroud's first trial run. The Susquehanna at Main Street in Oneonta, New York is selected and provides trees for tethering. The river is flowing approximately 4 feet per second, producing a rotor speed of approximately 150 rpm. A voltmeter is used, contacting the rectifier with probes, and measures an average 26 volts DC with no load. Each combination of three-phase legs produces alternating current in the range of 17 to 20 volts. Based on output performance tests by others using the same alternator, make, model, and manufacture, the amperage and power can be estimated at 4.8 amps and 124.8 watts. Further testing will include electronics to regulate the fluctuating electric current and load the system. A block and tackle system for the tether lines will be useful may reduce the 10 minute launch and positioning time to 5 minutes. Adjusting the trim wedge will improve overall performance. While improvements can be made, this first trial run demonstrates I have achieved my goals. My crew is still with me and my feet are dry.